Well, our tow bar came in. In part one of this series, we installed the base plate on our 2018 Jeep Wrangler. Now we're going to be going ahead and installing the tail light hookup, also the ready brake, and the tow bar itself. The tow bar came in. We're going to unbox it here in just a minute. company is out of Kansas. This is NSA RV Products Incorporated and this is the Ready Brute 2 tow bar. Inside we have our safety cables. This is our Ready Brake installation cable. This is our dash indicator to let us know when the tow vehicle is applying the brakes. This is the conduit shield for the front section. Went ahead and picked up some splice connectors. This is the ready stop breakaway. This is your fail safe brake. Got a cover. This is the turnbuckle for hooking up the ready brake. I picked up a four point connector with testers built in. This is my four diode tail light wiring kit. For the blue ox connection, which is the base plate on the front of the Jeep, this is our connectors. This is your brake circuit disconnect. We'll explain that later. And finally, the Ready Brute Elite 2 tow bar system with the ready brake built in. So what do you say we go ahead and get this installed? We've got our four diode lighting kit with the wiring. We're going to run our wiring down the driver's side, cross over to the passenger side and install our diodes. We're going to be using plenty of cable ties and as much of the frame interior as we can we've got our cutters, so let's get to it. To start, work the wire down the frame and bring it out near the driver side tail light. Removing the two inside lens cover screws on this model of Wrangler, gives you access to the light assembly wiring. Now, remove the electrical tape binding the factory wiring together. Be careful not to nick the wire. From underneath, locate the access port with a rubber skirt and run the new wiring into the taillight cavity. You can go online and find a wiring diagram for your year and model of Jeep Wrangler but it is best to double check the signals with a voltmeter. Using the wiring kit instructions, prepare the new wiring and crimp on the supplied blade connectors. The single blade of the diode connects to the load side or the tail light. The incoming voltage or source side of the diode has two blades. Since this is the tail and stop light diode, Attach a crossover wire to carry the signal to the passenger side. Electrical tape gives an added level of weatherproofing.
you really can't use too much electrical tape on the wiring. Now connect the turn signal diode in the same fashion, minus the crossover wire, and then tape it up good. Tuck the bundle away and replace the light assembly. Find an attachment point for the vehicle ground. Using the lug and self-tapping screw, secure the ground and dress the wiring. Work the signal wires over to the passenger side taillight cavity, being careful to avoid running the wires too close to the muffler or tailpipe. Remove the passenger side taillight assembly and strip back the electrical tape to expose the factory wiring. Again, you might compare the color coding to an online diagram. but always double check the actual signals with a voltmeter. Route the new stoplight and turn signal wires through the access port as you did on the driver side and secure the wires with cable ties. Now pull the wires up and cut off the extra. Prepare the new wiring and crimp on the blade connectors. Identical to the driver side, the single blade of the diode connects to the load side or the tail light. The incoming voltage or source side of the diode has two blades. After attaching the diodes, a right proper wrapping with electrical tape makes for a nice neat wiring and diode bundle. This part of the wiring project is temporary, so Ricky ran the full length of signal wiring along the base plate, securing it with cable ties. In part 3 of this series, he will install the permanent 6-pin connectors to the towed vehicle and the RV. For now he has attached a 4-pin connector, which matches the current connector on the RV. Finish this part of the install by testing the lights thoroughly.
Now onto the breakaway and ready brake cables. These cables attach to the Jeep brake pedal. You'll need a drill or impact driver and a sharp blade for this portion of the install. Remove the floor mat and carpeting to access the firewall directly behind the brake pedal. The breakaway and ready brake cables will enter the compartment directly behind the pedal. So check the firewall inside the engine compartment, to make certain the area is clear. Now, drill a hole right behind the brake pedal, then, leaving the bit in the hole, check the engine compartment once again for clearance. Drill a second hole, about an inch to the side of the first. Replace the carpet and cut away a small access area. This ready brake system uses bicycle cable. Route this cable jacket and secure it with the washer and nut. Find a location on the bumper where the ready brake cable will align with the braking actuator on the tow bar and drill a hole. Now route the bicycle cable jacket to this location, avoiding vehicle cables, hoses or moving parts. Cut the cable jacket and fit the plastic connector on the end. Thread the connector through the hole in the bumper and tighten in place with the nylon nut. Now feed the cable back through the jacket. Ricky's father used to say, if you ain't bleeding you ain't doing it right son. Apparently Ricky is doing it quite right. Mount the breakaway unit in accordance with the instructions and route the cable back to the second hole in the firewall. Back inside the cab, secure both cables to the brake pedal lever with the supplied clamp. Test to make certain the cables are free and functioning properly. Next, pin the Ready Brute Elite 2 tow bar into the RV receiver. Then the Blue Ox style tabs are locked into the base plate on the toad.
Bolt the clevises to the tow bar arms and swing the unit down into the towing position. It is very important that the tabs on the toad and the RV receiver be within 3 inches of level with each other. Now it's time to rough in the tension on the ready brake cable using the turnbuckle. Following the instructions, tighten the turnbuckle until the cable has 2 inches of slack. The breakaway cable must be attached to the rear of the RV, preferably the frame. Ricky secured the supplied loop cable at the point where the bumper meets the frame. Never attach this breakaway cable to the RV hitch unit. Now take up the slack in the breakaway cable. Well there it is. The Ready Brute Elite 2 tow bar ready to go. Got our two safety chains connected. Got the tow bar connected, got the ready brake connected, got the breakaway connected, and got our lights connected. The only thing we need to do now is test it out because we have never towed Gobi behind Matilda. Part three of this series is going to be road test. We'd like to invite you to check out more of our videos and if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. Until we see you again, Fair winds and following seas.